Hoi hoi! It's Louis T. Gian, and for this video, I'm gonna be recommending or suggesting books uh, to some of 17 members. Hoorah! So, I filmed a video about in 2018 about this, and I decided why not try doing it again? And I selected some members randomly. So, yeah, it's time to recommend or suggest books to 17 members. So, let's begin. First in this list is Wanu. Now, he's our resident bookworm. Now, I've always thought of him as someone who is, you know, kind of an inner softy. Like, there's an inner soft, heartwarming person inside of Wanu. And he's, you know, he's calm, gentle, but, you know, at times kind of fierce. And in terms of reading, I always go back to that time that he recommended me for you. So I've always been thinking that he's going to enjoy like, you know, contemporary books. And the contemporary book that I'm going to be recommending him is something that is like, you know, heart wrenching. You know, it's really going to grip his heart. And I hope that he has an opportunity to read this. So that would be Kaleidoscope by Danielle Steele. Now this follows the story of three sisters that got separated um, because of like some, you know, uh, they were uh, from like a broken family in a sense that their dad, um, you know, uh, got into, you know, certain things and certain addictions and all that stuff. And yeah, something happened to their mother and then like their dad was like, got in prison and, you know, committed mm -hmm. um and uh, yes and that's you know the story goes from there where these three sisters went on to different paths some of them were adopted and yeah um the book goes from there and we get to see like what happened to these um three sisters and it's really heart-wrenching especially i remember hillary's i was just like oof Ooh, ooh. But I really hope that Wani's gonna enjoy this book. We all know that Vernon is half Korean and half white American. So honestly, I've been thinking about this in when I was like thinking about a book that I would suggest Vernon to read, I wanted to like hmm. Like I really wanted to know what he's gonna think about this book. I wanna know his thoughts his insights and it's an 80s YA um, young adult or teen love story and I'm talking about Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Now I really want to know if like if Vernon gets to read this book I really want to know his thoughts his insights so that's what I'm just suggesting <laughs> With Ming Hao, I remember that Xiao Jun from NCT slash Wavy uh, read Kite Runner and he borrowed his copy from Ming Hao or V8. So I'm guessing Ming Hao is into like books that are, you know, hard, you know, that are not only that are hard hitting, but like depict like what life is like. And the Kite Runner like depicted what it was like in Afghanistan around like the mid 70s, around like until the 80s. So another book that I'm thinking that was able to depict like a period of time, um, which is like set in World War II in France, I'm gonna have to pick The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I think that when Ming Hao is gonna read this book, he is going to have like an idea about what it was like in France during the World War II. And I think that he's going to appreciate the narrative. When I was searching about Zhang Han, I found out that his personality type or trait is ISFJ and I was looking for books that are recommended for ISFJ, you know, people or people with ISFJ as their personality trait and I found one that I enjoyed and that would be um, Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. Now, this is like a historical fantasy, kind of like an epic high fantasy you know, that is something that I really enjoyed. It was quite thick, quite hefty. I think that 
uh, John Han would need to take some time. He can have this as some sort of like a daily evening routine or like a daily uh, devotion or a nightly devotion, I should say. Um, but yeah, I think that it's going to be a great fantasy book that will bring a great fantasy reading experience for John Han. So, hope you like it. Of course, my ultimate bias in 17, Joshua, is going to be included in this video. And of course, his sunny, sweet, charming, gentleman personality. I was thinking of a fun, you know, sweet book. And I'm going to be recommending him a book that I read for Blu-ray Book Club. And that would be You Should See Me in the Crown by Leah Johnson. Now, this follows the story of a girl that, you know, she wanted to be the prom queen because, um, you know, she wanted to, like, help herself financially in getting, like, a scholarship to, like, one of her dream colleges. And also she gets to compete with someone and then, like, she falls in love with this person, so we'll see, you know, how uh, the competition is going to happen. What I also like about this book is that it talks about, um, you know, about being oneself and like how far can one or even a group of people can go in order to like make things like, work for everybody and make sure like everyone, you know, is included. So I think that's what I like about it. And it's a sweet book. It's a sweet one, Joshua. Feel free to comment down below if you've read any of these books or if you're looking forward to read any of these books that I've mentioned. Or you can comment down below what books are you going to be recommending to any of these members. Or you can comment down below who is your bias or who are your biases. Who's your ultimate bias and like who are your favorite members or who's your favorite member. You know, just feel free to share your carrot, you know, fandom or you know your the carrot in you basically so i'm looking forward like you can also share like what books uh are you going to recommend them to read or suggest them to read so yeah i guess that's about it if you've made it this far leave like a diamond emoji because you know shining diamond and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up also click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos and I'll also be putting down links and handles of my social media accounts so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well and also don't forget to stream ready to love by 17 this is not sponsored by the way and yet yeah, just you know us fellow carrots stream ready to love stream you know all their other songs that support 17 yes so yeah gotta support them so thank you super much for watching and always be thankful and unleash the reader and you bye y'all